Welcome to Self-Reliance, our two-bedroom, 1,000-square-foot family home inspired by the traditional New England farmhouse. Our design demonstrates that an environmentally friendly home can be comfortable for a family. We wanted the public space to be as welcoming as possible. We did not center any part of the room around an entertainment system or any one specific task. It's to serve as a multi-purpose room for a family to spend time together. While the parents are cooking, the kids could be doing homework or playing board games. The greenhouse wall allows a family to see how food can begin as a seed and grow and then eventually end up on their plates. The greenhouse wall, the kitchen, and the dining nook are all physically connected, allowing a family to grow their food, cook their food, and eat their food all in one space. We designed the deck to act as an extension of the living space. It's a vegetable garden, it's a place to hang out, it's a place for your family to eat. The loft can be used as a place for off-season storage, or can be a cozy place for children to play. If I was a child, the first thing I would do is walk into the public space and see a ladder and immediately climb up it. It creates a playful environment that a family needs. We designed self-reliance to have clearly defined public and private spaces, so a family could entertain in one half of the home and retreat to the other. The transition from public to private space follows a centrally located hallway that's surrounded by a bathroom and a mechanical space containing most of the home's systems. The furniture in the kids' bedroom is colorful and compact, making the entire space feel light, open and fun. High vaulted ceilings and a vertical wood wall make the master bedroom feel expansive. Large south and east windows flood the room with sunlight. A private deck extends the master bedroom to the outdoors. I think what's so special about our design is that it proves that an environmentally responsible home can be comfortable for a family. Most importantly, this is a house that people could walk into and feel like they could live in. In the spirit of Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay, Self-Reliance, we as liberal arts students questioned convention in every aspect of the project. We took a holistic view of sustainability, looking not just at energy, but also at materials, food, community, and relationships. What this project is ultimately is our attempt to build the kind of future we, the younger generation, want to live in.